folks, I'm Shelly. They call me the Bell of All Things Southern. And we're making cathead biscuits today because I put a picture up online last week and all of y'all, well, a lot of y'all said you did not know how to make cathead biscuits. That is like wrong. You need some edumacation and I am here to help. My handy dandy friend Rhonda Perry is on the other side of the thing grinning at me, but we're not going to make this like in high science, right, Ren? <laughs> Correcto. Right. <laughs> you can get online and you can find a million hundred recipes for biscuits. These would be my mama's cat head biscuits and the steps that she taught me. So it's really very simple. Two cups of self rising flour. Got that? Not all purpose, or you will need baking soda and baking powder. Self rising flour. Two to three tablespoons of butter flavored Crisco. Notice the pretty yellow tip. One cup of buttermilk. Do not drink this if you do not like buttermilk. That's it. Back here we have a cast iron skillet. Extremely important. You need a cast iron skillet. I have melted melted a little bit of the butter flavored Crisco in here and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Are we good? We're good. Okay, so we're going to take our two cups of self rising flour and we're going to cut in our Crisco. Now someone would say, Shelly, what in the world do you mean by cutting in Crisco? Come closer. We take our flour and we take a fork. <laughs> you can come even closer, right? Do you see it? Uh -huh. Can can they see? So you just keep taking your little sweet fork like this. Ooh, got some of it, I think. And you just keep cutting it in and cutting it in. Kind of hard to do and turn it sideways, but I'm wanting y'all to see it. And it, this is the process. It's just going to take just oh another minute or two. We're just going to cut it, cut it, cut it. Seems like it's taking longer than it normally does, but that's just because y'all are there. All right, so once we cut in all of our Crisco, Ronnie, you see how kind of um, coarse that is? That's yes. what it ends up looking like. You yes. saw what our flour looked like mm -hmm. a moment ago, and now it's kind of coarse, and that's beginning to tell us that we've got our Crisco cut in, okay? So once we get our Crisco cut in like that, it's pretty good. All righty. Sake of time, we're gonna go forward, but that's what you want to do. See, it's just kind of coarse. Your buttermilk. Add our buttermilk and continue to stir. Okay, big rule here: you don't keep messing with your dough, or you'll have stiff biscuits. Got that? No one wants that. No one wants stiff biscuits. All right. So once you get this stirred up, you're just gonna kind of stir it until you have a ball. Got it? Got it. Okay. At this point, this is what you need to know. You can, if you prefer, roll this out and use a tin in order to cut your biscuits up. Mom and I, mm -mm, we just pinch them off. Okay? So you're going to have your dough about like this. We're going to take our dough. And we got a. This is just. A little hard with y'all looking but anyway so we got our dough we're gonna mash it down turn it around a little bit until we got a ball of dough I don't like measure mine when I'm making biscuits but I've been thinking about y'all and how I would tell y'all to help so for y'all what I would probably do Rhonda is like divide it mm -hmm. and then divide it again mm -hmm. and then divide it again got that mm -hmm. and that way I could take one of these big balls and make two biscuits are y'all following me? So you're going to take your dough, roll it up into a little ball. Don't mess with it a long time. Remember when I told you that we had some Crisco melted in the skillet? This is why. Mama taught me to take your Crisco and put your cute little biscuit down there and then turn it over. Mm -hmm. Then take your little fingers and mash it. And now you're going to have a little crust, a fine little crust on both biscuit. You got it? Gee, I love how you're doing that. That's <laughs> Okay, so now we got another biscuit. We're gonna roll it out, put it there, and mash it down. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we have another ball. I think you're with me on the process, mm -hmm. right? How many cups ball? of flour did you start off with? Two cups of what kind of flour, Rhonda? 
Self rising. Self rising flower. Do y'all see how quickly I'm doing this? Mm -hmm. Don't make it a big deal. You got stuff to do, people. These are biscuits. This is not world peace. Although I could probably solve that too. <laughs> if y'all needed me to, I could probably do world peace. Now, the only really like bad memory I have associated with cat head biscuits, and, and there's really only one, and it, it harkens back to a time when I got in trouble um, as a young girl growing up and, well, kind of got ratted out at the breakfast table and uh, Papa showed me that I was in trouble right about the time he handed me a big skillet of cat head biscuits. Well, a big platter. I don't know how to mind the skillet. So he hands me the platter of cat head biscuits and he's like, you're in big trouble. There's a whole more, a lot more story to that, and I might tell you one time, but guess what I did while I was telling y'all that? I have our biscuits! Ooh, beautiful. Voila! Yeah. How long did that take? Five minutes. Five minutes tops. You can make your man some scratch biscuits. Now, I've got the oven preheating at 425 degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna cook these biscuits, oh, about 10 to 12 minutes until the tops get brown. In the meantime, Ron and I are gonna have a cup of coffee and then we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. And I'll show you, show you what they look like when they come out, okay? So are y'all ready? All right, now remember when I told you that you were just gonna melt that butterfly mm -hmm. Crisco in your skillet so you would have a nice crust on the top and the bottom? Well, look at here, now, ooh. Oh, what you really should do here, it's hot. What you really should do here is make some milk gravy. I'll tell y'all about that later. Or have some biscuit, I mean some jam and jelly and butter with your biscuit. But um, I'm not gonna wait. This is a cat head biscuit and it is good. Oh my very goodness. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm serious. Without any butter, this stuff is good. Now, I would generally melt butter across the top, a little pat of butter on each one. But without butter, without jelly, without gravy, delicious. And now you know how to make a fluffy, do you see that? A fluffy cat head biscuit for your people. Work them up, girls, and send me pics. This is Shelly with Hugs for All.